Hello. This is my last candle uh, review on Bath and Body Works. It's the Gingham. And I had bought this a while back. I forgot I had it. So I'm doing a review on it now. This smells really good. Even without lighting it, it smells good. Yesterday, I lit it for the first time. Like I said, I forgot I had this. So, um, this is what it looked like the, when I had bought it. Right now, it's, it's blue and white, the packaging. Um, smells really good. Um, notes, probably can't see it because it's one wig. Um, no notes. Hmm. Oh, blue fuchsia and white peach. Fresh clementine. Oh, it did have the notes in this one. So, that's the notes in that. It smells really good. You get the fuchsia. You get some of the peach, just a little of the peach. And the clementine. A little of the clementine. So, you're getting it all... But the strongest is the blue fuchsia and when you light it it really throws it out even though if you uh, just take the top off and it throws it out without being lit so either one works on that uh, it's a great smell it fills up a whole room uh, whether you light it or not, um, I think so. Uh, you know, you get a whiff and then um, it's strong. So I put it by my bed because my grandson likes to smell it. And I still had a pineapple mango. Yes, I will continue to talk about that one. The pineapple and mango. It's, um, this is, uh, oh, sorry. That is a good smell, and you're the one. I'm waiting for the Friday candle sale, three-week sale. Um, this is the top on this one. This is the top. Oops, sorry, it's a glare. Oop. But anyway, boy, that was a strong glare. Um, yes, I am waiting on the sale. I hope y'all are. Yes, I keep smelling it because it smells good. I mean, like I said, you could put it in the bathroom. It probably be really, really strong in the bathroom because it's a, a smaller uh, place. And like I said, you're the one. I'm waiting on that one. I'm hoping to get my hat. Um, and the I didn't find, unless they're going to have it at the stores, the pineapple and mango in a three wick. If anybody finds one, please let me know. Um, I would love to get a three wick pineapple and mango because I looked online. They didn't have any in a three wick unless I just totally missed it, which I don't think because I took my time really looking because I want to make sure I uh, get what I want and test the ones that I want to try, you know, just to smell and then bring it home and test it and review it and let y'all know what I think of it. But, uh, there's just probably four or five that I may get. Um, not for sure how many. I got my coupons ready. I put it back in my purse so I will not forget. Um, I was hoping I got more, but, you know. Not try to be too greedy or anything like that. So, like and subscribe. If um, what is your favorite scents that you're gonna be looking for at the Bath and Body Works sale Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? So let me know. Um, like I said, um, like and subscribe. And if y'all have one of these, what are y'all thoughts on that? 
a ginger. I know I'm probably saying them wrong because I have such a weird accent. And my family tells me that all the time. I be try to pronounce it another way and, and I hear different people pronouncing it wrong, different ways. So I'm not in the boat by myself. Um, that's why everybody laugh at me at work because the way I talk and interact with the kids and read stories to the kids because some of my words are not pronounced the correct way. Even though it is pronounced the right way, but it just has a different accent or whatever to it. I don't know where it comes from. It's always been like that. Um, but anyway, let's get off of that. Um, maybe it's the name. Who knows? Um, like I said, um, God, I got now four cents that, that I really like. Um. Uh, Oh, and I found out it's the golden sunflower thing. I want to get that one if they have it in a three wick. Uh, if they're gonna have it in a three wick, um, and I want to get the body spray because I did buy one for my daughter for Christmas and she's been asking for it. And anyway, um, like and subscribe. Yes, I'm gonna continue to say that. Make a comment. You know, what's your favorite scent? What are you looking for? Um, are you going to the sales? Or, uh, and did you get your coupons? So, I hope you find what you're looking for. And let me know if y'all find a pineapple and mango in a three way because I really, 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 really want one of those. And uh, you're the one. I hope they don't run out of those, especially. Those are the two that I, sorry, look like a lip gloss everywhere. Those are the two I really, 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 really want is the pineapple and mango. And you're the one. I keep those by my bed. And I'm keeping this one. Oops. The, so I'm, I'm going to put some of these candles up because, uh, like I said, I have one, two in the living room and in the kitchen. But, and I don't even always have to light them because I keep the strongest one out. And the one I want to light, I just take them out when I want to light them and get that extra scent or compare the two together. Uh, some of them you can put, uh, compare together. Like you can do strong and a sweet scent. And it blends in very, very nice. Like if I was to get the pineapple and the teakwood or the mahogany. Uh, get a sweet scent and blend, uh, have them burning at the same time in the same room or whatever. And it throws out a really good smell. It, it blends in so well. Um, Sometimes you might get a little more hint of one. And then the other come out. Or and, or they blend in together so well. Because they're burning at the same time. That the smell is just so pretty. Um, like I said. I, I do the mahogany and the Walmart one. I haven't tried the mahogany and the uh, pineapple. I should try that. I'm going to try that. And then the pineapple and the uh, teakwood. And I would do a, a vlog on that one. A review. Sorry. I would do a review on burning those two together. Uh, also the... Hmm. I'm trying to see what else I got. But, I will do a review on that, on the mahogany and the pineapple, like I said, and the pineapple and the teakwood. So, I'm going to do that. I don't, I think it would be pretty, a pretty scent. Um, I'll probably do that tonight. Um, and I'll probably do this and pineapple or this and... You're the one. So I will get back with you. I will let you know how it went. 
the reviews on it, how it blended or if it didn't blend together. That way, if you want to try two scents together um, to bring out different scents at the same time, um, I think that would be really pretty. I don't know if anybody ever thought of that. That would be something, or something very interesting to do. Because I know a lot of people, they get the candles and they put one in each room and instead of pairing uh, some of the candles together and some people probably don't like it but I like it I mean even if you burn one in one room and one in another room if it's close together it should throw off a different scent it should blend in together um, that's just my thought, but I will experiment, and I will get back with you and let you know how it went. So, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to get the other candle out of the living room that I have and paired it to one of the Strong Scents uh, candles. And I will tell you all the names that I'm going to be using as I give the review and how it worked together and the scent that it uh, threw off or if it was overpowering still or um, I don't know but I will do a review on that I'm gonna write that down right now but uh, I, yes I take notes I, I <laughs> take notes and I uh, jot stuff down make a to-do list as some people say because I won't forget that. It's just I want to make sure I give the right review on how everything is, it worked together. How everything didn't work together. If you know what I mean. And I know I got one comment. And I thank you very much for the comment. I never would have thought um, pairing certain th uh, scents together or candles together. Uh, thank you for that comment that uh made me determined to find more candles to compare and review and probably this weekend i'm gonna see if i can go somewhere else and find some different candles somewhere and and compare to bath and body works and walmart so that's gonna be my go this weekend if i don't go to the sales i will go to other places to find candles just to compare to the candles I do have. I don't have very many. But um, I would like to get. That will be an awesome thing to do. Give reviews on different candles. Different scents. Different. Um, I might go to Bath and Body. Oh, sorry. Walmart. See if I can find lotions. To compare to Bath and Body Work lotions. Good idea. That way I can compare the scents and if I might find the same ones, uh, buy those and see how it goes. If it's the same scent, if it's the same texture. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to be on it. Sorry, like and subscribe. Once my mind gets the thing going, thinking, that's what it's doing. Uh, that's why I write a lot of stuff down, even at work. Because I'll do my lesson plan and then it's like, oh, well, we can change it up and do it this way. We can do both. We can, uh, anyway, sorry. That's my mind thinking it overthinks sometimes. So I keep a little notebook in my purse or a piece of paper in my purse or in my backpack, in the car. Because, sorry, I'm just rambling. I, I'd like to write stuff down. Because if I don't, I'll forget. It's not forgetting. It's just how how I thought of doing it. You know, if you know what I mean. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Sorry. 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 Like and subscribe. I hope to hear your comments. And talk to you later.